Hello world and welcome to this edition of Tech on Fire with Blaze and we're going to be looking at deployment slots on Azure App Services today. We've already looked at app service plans on Azure. And with app service plans, we've looked at how you can create app services within an app service plan. Today we're gonna to be looking at deployment slots in app services and how you can use deployment slots for doing things like staging an application and swapping it into a production slot. And then how you can use app services with deployment slots for certain kinds of testing like A-B testing on two different applications that are deployed into the same app service and they are running two different versions of the application. You can run them side by side. Now with a deployment slot, you can have a deployment slot deployed into your app service. You simply create that uh, deployment slot into your app service and it will get a URL that has the same URL with an Azure websites.net as the postfix for that. And then the URL for your deployment slot will be the name of your site, then a dash, and then the name of your slot. So this makes the deployment slots name and URL very predictable for URLs on Azure. Also with deployment slots, you can do something called A-B testing. And what this allows you to do is divert certain percentages of traffic to a deployment slot and then another percentage of traffic to a different deployment slot. And you can see how a website might react to the traffic going to it versus to another deployment slot. So you can essentially be able to test one site against another and then see how they perform versus one versus the other whenever you're doing that A-B testing. I'm here in the Azure portal and I'm in a resource group where I've deployed an app service plan, an app service, and then a staging slot already that I've called staging, or a deployment slot called staging. Now, with uh, the app service up and the actual web uh, app deployed, I can come down here and look at this deployment slots uh, pane here and show the existing deployment slots that I already have, or I can add or remove them from this particular slot. And notice I have two here. I have one called Blaze Demo, and that's my production slot, and then one called Blaze Demo Dash Staging, and that's my staging slot that I can use for my uh, staging environment whenever I deploy my application. And once I get my application into my deployment slot for staging, I can then do a swap with, with my production uh, slot up here. So uh, with that, I, I want to first look at what I currently have in my production slot, which is just a simple website that I have running here. And uh, it's a simple website that I've customized with Sacha's picture and uh, it's a template I downloaded and, and put Sacha's picture there and says, I am Sacha, CEO of Microsoft. Now, if I wanted to to change this up. Say I have, I want to change maybe this up here and then uh, change some other text in this uh, particular uh, template. I could come over here and look at this. And I think I've already made some of the changes already. And this is just a bootstrap theme. And I, instead of Devfolio, I want to put uh, Microsoft. And then uh, instead of I am Sacha, I want to put in maybe I am Sacha Nadella and changes uh, put add his last name into the the HTML for this, and so I made some some minor changes to this. I'll put these onto my website. But the first thing I want to do is deploy these to my staging slot to make sure everything looks well and is uh, performing well inside of my application on app services. So to do that, I first need to deploy that to my staging and then look at it in my staging environment, and that would be my deployment uh, slot there. So to do that, I'm going to run a command. I'm going to call the uh, AZ web app deployment command on the AZ uh, Azure CLI and I'm going to use a zip file. Uh, I've, so I need to zip this up and to redeploy it. So to refresh my uh, zip file, I'm going to remove, uh, I've already re removed my old one here and uh, let's delete that and then let's go ahead and re-zip these files and uh, create a new zip file. And then uh, I can call this command here, and this will deploy it to my staging slot. And that I've just, I've 
uh, specified right here with dash dash slot and I've called it staging so that's the staging slot that I created in the Azure portal and there's the name of my app and there's the name of my resource group that I'm pulling to so this will get everything I need from the Azure portal or from the Azure environment and then deploy my uh, website to that deployment slot so this will take just a minute and we'll come back when it's done so this uh, deployed now I can uh, go and check it uh, against my deployment slot URL, uh, which is uh, going to be blaze demo staging minus the SEM and then Azure websites.net. Or I can simply go back to the Azure portal and I can go over here to my resource group, click on my uh, deployment slot, and then the overview tab for this, it'll give me the URL for my staging environment. So if I click on this, it should pull up that uh, website with the changes that I've made. So there's the one I had, I changed this up here to Microsoft and then I put uh, I am Sachi and Adela in the uh, text here. Now, if I want to change this um, to this deployment slot, that's my production environment, which is this one right here, uh, I want I can do a swap. So what I'm going to do here then is come back over here to my um, deployment slot and then I'm going to click on swap up here. Now, once I have this uh, pane up here, this blade, I can select the source, which is going to be my staging and my target, which is my production uh, slot. And then I can go over here and hit swap. And then that will perform a swap. So this takes just a second. So we'll come back when that's finished. Okay, now that swap is done, I can uh, close out the swap. And now let's go and reload our pages. So this is the one that was in my staging environment, and so it should have the content from my production in it now. And now that is the case. I see I'm Sasha. That was was originally my production. And this one is my production slot. And now this should have my changes in it, uh, the, the name change, and then uh, not just Sasha's full name here. So you can see here I was able to use the, uh, the, the deployment slots to do a simple the staging and then swap to deployment uh, pipeline uh, or workflow using the Azure portal and the Azure CLI to deploy my application. I'm here in the Azure portal again and I'm looking at the deployment slots here and another feature you can do with deployment slots is the AB testing that we mentioned in the slides too and you can chat you can set a percentage of traffic that gets diverted to one or uh, another deployment slot. So if I had a multiple, I could divide this up into uh, three or four or five deployment slots, um, depending on the tier of the app service that I have. In this case, if I wanted to do a 50-50 split, I could set that to a 50-50 split. Or if I wanted to divert everything to my staging environment uh, that would come in on my canonical URL, I can do that. So that means all the traffic that would be coming in on the production uh, state of slot would end up being sent to the staging URL because I have 100% of the traffic going there. But if I did 50-50, um, it would send half the traffic to the the production uh, URL and then half of it to this production, this staging slot here. So this gives me the ability to send traffic to any arbitrary um, staging slot in the set that it will be load balanced according to those um, staging slots uh, percentages that I've set there. Now this is not the same thing as a load as multiple instances of the application running. Rather, it's more of a instance of the application running in the the same kind of space that I might have. So the um, the story behind this is not to set up this scenario, this solution for doing load balancing. You would want, or uh, something like that, you would want to use multiple instances of your app and then use scaling for that. That's this that these features that we looked at last time. This is simply just for testing purposes. If you wanted to test something against a staging slot versus a production slot, you can redirect traffic based on these percentages here, uh, or you can just use the URLs that we already have. So if I wanted to look at that, I could set that to 100% and then that would um, that should divert all of the traffic um, from my 
um, production website, that would be the production slot at this URL to the staging environment, which is going to should have the old app in it right now. And that's what we're seeing here. But if I change that back, it would have the, the changes that we made uh, in the application. So you can see here how I've been able to use deployment slots for staging and deployment. And then I can use those for uh, testing purposes as well to redirect traffic to a given uh, deployment slot without having to swap them into production. I can just simply change those percentages and then look at it uh, or do some kind of load balancing between two so uh, two different slots to see how one app can uh, compares to another uh, app deployed into those deployment slots, but might be slightly uh, slightly different in the code that's in the back end. So those kinds of things are the kinds of scenarios that you can use deployment slots for. Well, this is going to wrap up this video on deployment slots on Azure App Services. Uh, next time, we're going to be looking at some more additional features that are in App Services. So stay tuned for new videos of Tech on Fire with Blaze. If you like this content, please consider visiting us online at www.wintelect.com and there you can find about services that Wintelect offers including training and consulting services. Also, please consider subscribing to this channel by clicking on the subscribe button and clicking the bell icon to get notifications when new content becomes available and also comment down below. You can also follow me on Twitter at the one mule and also follow Wintelect on Twitter at Wintelect now or at Wintelect. We are constantly posting things about Azure related technologies and things related to software development. You can also reach us by email at consulting at Until next time, thank you.